Okay. This is running much better. For some reason... Well, my computer is on, like, auto-select graphics processor. So, like... For, uh... For, like, browsing the internet, it, it, it uh... Selects the integrated processor, because the, the uh, NVIDIA processor does not work correctly. It's, like, too powerful to display the internet. But anyway, I haven't made it that far, so this is fine. Yeah, I think I actually got a glitch where all the, the candles were on to begin with. Huh? So this is good. This is how the game's meant to be played. But anyway my system for some reason thought this game would be a good choice to use the integrated processor with which is running like complete garbage as you saw so boom so I'm back it's running at a full 30 frames per second with fraps running and I'm back to where I was there's no save. Oh my god! What? Did I just die? Pretty sure I just died. Come on. Anything? I am so confused right now. <sighs> that was such a cheap scare. And I really can't figure out a way to get back into the game. escape, I guess? Who did this to me? <laughs> okay, so it's credits. Red Forest. Oh, cool. So, there's no save, but there's continue points. That's a good thing. So essentially, Light. Ah, ah. There we go. So, uh, if you haven't figured out why it's called candles, um, I should probably, uh... Interesting picture. Ah! The candles aren't turned on this time. Ah! Go away! Ugh. What? Don't go through that door. <laughs> maybe I'm missing something here. Like maybe there's some strategy behind. Can I turn off candles? I cannot turn off candles. Maybe there's some strategy that I'm missing. The uh, strategy that I use in a lot of first person games is I leave the door open. And then, you know, back up so that I have a good, uh, safe area if there's a gun to shoot from. Or, you know, this game doesn't let you do that. I don't even want to open this door. Ah! Because what if I just die instantly?
That's too dark. This isn't good. Out. There's something walking in there. I can't go in there. Ah! 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 Don't get me! That guy is frightening. How is this on now? This game is confusing. They really... They really produced a frightening enemy in this game that isn't like... It's not a zombie, it's not a ghost. It's just like... A manifestation of evil. I'm not... I mean, I, I am liking this game, but when I say I'm, I don't like this game... Oh my god, there he is! So I can't go that way. What if I go this way? That's so... <sighs> That's so... How was he there also? Oh, well, I guess there's a bunch of them. So how can I defeat them? As read me, the only controls are left click to interact space to jump, and WASD to move. W-A-S-D if you didn't figure that out. The trend seems to be if I open the door and run away, I'm gonna be okay. What? That's so cheap. So how am I supposed to get anywhere? Have to hit escape. And then it brings me back here. One more try and I'll end this video. So I can't even get near that door, because he's like coming through it. So... This way... This way... I literally can't interact with anything except the lamps. Of the lamps. The, the candles. Same picture. Let this go through. Oh my god. No, no, no. No, no, no. You gotta light the candle. No. Alright. I'll be back. This, this game is definitely addicting.